everyone my name is Rashmi welcome to my channel keep calm and crochet today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little mouse for this tutorial you're going to need double knit yarn in grey and peach color grey is for the main body and peach for the inside of the ears and the tip of the nose you're also going to need some fiber fill security eyes darning needle and pair of scissors i'm going to be working this mouse with 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so let's get started i'm going to be starting off with the legs and for this grab your gray yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer slip your hook inside and we're going to chain two now this method that i'm going to be showing you is an alternative to magic ring so if you prefer working with magic ring please do so. So let's go ahead and chain two. Slip knot, chain two. And to start, we're going to be working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So there's my first chain. Here's the second one. Slip your hook inside and yarn over and pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both. That's my first single crochet of this round. We're going to be working six single crochets all together. Here's second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate this gap between the stitches. So let's do that. And once you've done this, it will bring all your stitches nice and close together. We're going to be working in a spiral so the next round is going to be on top of these, uh, these stitches that we worked. So to do this, you're going to locate your first single crochet of your previous round. And we're going to slip our hook in the top part of it, like this, yarn over and pull up a loop from there. Two loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through both. So that's my first single crochet of round two. I'm going to slip my hook back into that same stitch to work another single crochet in the same stitch now this is an increase so when we work two single crochets in the same stitch it's an increase so each time when I say increase you're working two single crochets in the same stitch now in this round we're going to be working six increases that was my second increase here's my third increase fourth increase fifth increase and my final one increase number six once you have your six increases your stitch count should be 12 now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and now from here as we're working in spiral it's very important to identify where your start of your round is. So for that purpose, I'm going to be using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. And now we're going to be following this single crochet on with an increase, which means two single crochets in the same stitch. One, back in the same stitch for the second one. And this is my combination for this round. I'm going to work one single crochet, followed on with an increase single crochet increase all the way around so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. now we're going to be starting our next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and now i'm going to be following this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you will have a total of 18 single crochets once you've done one round you're going to be following the same method and work eight rounds of just single crochet so each round will have 18 single crochet so go ahead work eight rounds of single crochets and then meet me back here after eight rounds of single crochet this is what the leg would look like so the size at the base is the same, but you've gained in length. There we go. Now we're going to finish off with this leg by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Slip your hook in the next stitch like this, pull up a loop, 
and make this loop go through the loop that you already have on your crochet hook. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving, um, not really bothered about how the size of this bit because we're going to be attaching it with another leg. Now you're going to be following the same instructions and make another one of these. However, this time you're not going to be snipping the yarn because once you've got the other leg, we're going to be connecting the two and continue working on the body. So go ahead, work another one of these and do not snip the yarn and meet me back here. Once you finish working the two legs, you're going to be connecting the two together with chain three. So to do this, you're going to chain three first. One, two, three. And let's go ahead and connect this with the stitch where we finished our previous, um, the, this leg. So in the same stitch, I'm going to slip my hook and guide this yarn around this way. And I'm going to pull it out of this stitch, move this out of the way. You have two loops on your hook and pull this loop back through the loop that you already had on your crochet hook. This is a slip stitch. So we have just worked a slip stitch. So to summarize, chain three, work a slip stitch and connect the two legs together. Now we've got 18 single crochets on this side, 18 on this side and three chain in the middle. Now we're going to be working our first round of the body. To do this, we are going to slip our hook back into that same stitch to work our first single crochet. And there's my first single crochet of this round. And I'm going to be working a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. And then we're going to work a stitch on each of these chains. Then work stitches all the way around here. Then we're going to be working on this side of these stitches as well. So let's work this round together. So single crochet in every one of these stitches. 18 around this leg. That's my last stitch here. And as we connected the two legs in the same place where we finished our previous the previous leg, this tells us this point tells us that we are at uh, we worked 18 stitches. So we're now going to slip our hook in the top part of our first chain, which is right here. Slip your hook in there and work first single crochet in the next one now is my second single crochet and in the third chain I'm going to work another single crochet and once you've got a single crochet in each of the chains you're going to continue working a single crochet across this side as well go ahead and work that and meet me back here now I've worked 18 single crochets around this side. We're going to be working three single crochets in the base of the chain three that we worked stitches on. Now to do this, you're going to turn the stitches over. So this is what they look like at the moment. We're going to be working at the base of them. So turn them a little bit towards the base. You're going to slip your hook in the first chain, but from the base this time up a loop and work your first single crochet second and the third one and this should bring you to the starting point again let's put this thread inside the leg and from here we're going to start the next round and we're going to start working in a spiral again so starting by working on top of our first single crochet of this round. So slip your hook at the top of this stitch and work your first single crochet. I'm going to use a stitch marker from here on. So there's my stitch marker. And you're going to be working a single crochet all the way around on every single one of these stitches. Now you should have 18 on this, 
6 in the middle, 18 on this. That makes your total to 42. So go ahead, work 42 single crochets in a row all the way around and then meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 42. We're starting the next round with 15 single crochets in a row. So, first single crochet, let's put our stitch marker back in place. Second. Once you have your 15 single crochets in a row, we're going to work six increase, increases followed on with 21 single crochets. So you have 15 single crochets, six increases in the next six stitches, and then 21 single crochets. That's my first increase. Second increase, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Once you have your six increases, finish this round off with 21 single crochets in a row and that should bring you to the end of this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 48 now we're going to be starting our next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put that stitch marker back in place and we will follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you will have 48 single crochets in a row once you finish that you're going to be repeating the same process three times to have three rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work three rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 48 we're now going to start the next round with six single crochets in a row Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. Once you have your six single crochets in a row, we're going to be working a decrease in the next two stitches. Now, when we say decrease, we're reducing the number of stitches by working one stitch in two. Now I'll show you how to do this. Slip your hook into the next stitch here, pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that, and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So in place of two of those stitches, we've just worked one stitch. And this way we reduce the number of stitches that you will have in this round. Let's go ahead and show you one more. So this is your combination. Six single crochets followed on with a decrease. So let's work our six single crochets quickly. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And here's our next decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop in the stitch after that, Pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And just like this, work six single crochets, followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. We're now going to start the next round with 
a single crochet in our first stitch with a stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you will need 42 single crochets in a row you're going to be following the same method five times all together to have five rounds of just single crochet so go ahead to work five rounds of just single crochet with 42 single crochets in each round and then meet me back here at the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 42. now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row Here's my first. And let's put our stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. And here's my fifth one. I'm going to follow this on with a decrease. Put up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round five single crochets followed on with a decrease five single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to be following this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you're going to have 36 single crochets in one row now you're going to be following the same method three times to have three rounds of single crochets so go ahead work three rounds of single crochets and meet me back here at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 36 going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row here's my first second third and fourth I'm going to follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place one two three four there we go and here's your repeat for this round you're going to have four single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease four single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's put our stitch marker back in place follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you will have 30 single crochets in a row you're going to follow the same instructions twice to have two rounds of just single crochet now once you've done that go ahead and fill this whole body up with fiber fill and then meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 30 we're now going to work the next round with three single crochets in a row here's my first second and third let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place we're going to follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go now here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease three single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's put the stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around and to finish one round you're going to have 24 single crochets in a row once you've done that you're going to follow the same method two more times to have three rounds of just single crochets so go ahead work three rounds of just single crochet with 24 single crochets in each and meet me back here after three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24. 
Now we're going to fasten off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Pull up a loop from the next stitch like this and make it go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook. Now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. So we can use this to stitch the head and the body together. And there we go, the body of this little mouse is now finished. Now onto the ears and for this let's grab our grey yarn first and work a slip knot. Chain two to begin. That's one and two. For our first round we're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So slip your hook in there, pull up a loop, two loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through both. And that's my first single crochet going to work six of them all together two three four five and six once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and let's continue working in spiral again so slip your hook in the top part of your previous single crochet so the first single crochet of your previous round. There it is. And we're going to work an increase in here. So pull up a loop, work our first single crochet, going back into that same stitch to work the second one. There we go, so that's my first increase. In this round, we're going to be working six increases all together. Here's my second increase. Here's increase number three, four, five, and the last one, increase number six. Now after six increases, you will have a total of 12 stitches. We're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. I'm going to start using a stitch marker here to identify the start of each of my rounds. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here is your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're now going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to follow this on with another single crochet. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet, and increase, a single crochet. A single crochet, increase, and a single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to work our next round by working three single crochets in a row. So here's my first, second, and third. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow these three single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase. Three single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to Finish off with this ear by working a slip stitch in the next stitch, like this, and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out of this stitch and pull this down. Now you're going to be following the same method and make another one of these and two more in peach or pink colour for the inside of the ear. So I've already gone ahead and made them already. Here we go. So I'm now going to show you how to finish off the ear. So let's go ahead and grab one of each color. We're going to put them together back to back. 
like this. So we're going to be putting all of these bits of yarn on the inside so we can hide them away. So we can actually go ahead and snip them a little bit shorter so it's easy to hide them away. But be mindful, don't cut it too short, otherwise the stitches could start unraveling. So we're going to hold the stitches together like this. And now I'm going to attach my grey yarn onto any of these stitches. So when you're doing this, you're going to be attaching the yarn through both of the grey and pink or peach um, stitches. So I've made my way through the grey and the peach stitches and now I'm going to pull this yarn through like this and we're going to go ahead and oh that hasn't come through let's do that properly slip it in through grey and then the pink stitches hook this onto your hook and pull it through and I'm going to give this a little knot in place so it's nice and secure and now we're going to start working our last and final round this last final round is going to allow us to combine two of these colors together and create a border on the outside of this peach color as well be mindful we're keeping all of these bits of yarn on the inside so it just eliminates one extra step of uh, threading all these ends in so here we go and to start off we're going to slip our hook back into that same stitch pull up a loop with the grey yarn I'm going to chain one now when you're doing this be mindful to be working on this side so let's do that properly again okay slip your hook in there pull up a loop chain one Going back into that same stitch to work my first single crochet of this round. Now in this particular round we're going to be working two single crochets in a row. So that's my first one going into the second stitch. Now when we're going into the second stitch you have to make sure you're making your way through the stitches at the back as well like this. So if I pull them apart I've made my way through both and we're going to work second single crochet here and in the next stitch I'm going to work an increase slip your hook inside from the back as well and we're going to work an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch now we're going to have two more single crochets in a row again each time take your time and make sure that you're going through front and back of each of these stitches so that's my first stitch and then here's the second one and here's your combination for this round two single crochets and increase two single crochets just like this you're going to finish this whole round catching the stitches on the gray and the peach yarn and work two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets Two single crochets increase two single crochets work that all the way around and meet me back here i've now made my way all the way around and this is what the mouse's ear will look like when you're finished there we go and when you get to the top so back to where we started you're going to finish off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch so slip your hook in the top part of your first stitch here and work a slip stitch now we can go ahead and snip the yarn off, pull it out and pull this down. Now follow the same instructions and make another one of these ears. Now onto the head and for this we're going to be using the same peach colour yarn that we used for the inside of the ears. Go ahead and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. And we're going to chain two. One, two. Now to start round one, you're going to work four single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So slip your hook in there and pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work three more. Now 
Now, once you have your four single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And once that's done, we're going to start working in a spiral again. So round two, we're going to locate our first single crochet of our previous round and slip our hook in there. That's one, two, three, four, there it is. And pull up a loop from there to work our first single crochet, going back into that same stitch to work another to make an increase. So from here, you're going to have four increases all together. So working an increase in every single one of these stitches. Here's my second increase. Third increase. And my fourth increase, and this is the final one. And there we go. Now, once you've worked your four increases, you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. So here's our next stitch. Going to slip stitch in there and finish off with this color. So let's go ahead and snip this yarn and pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure this in place. Now go ahead and grab your gray color for the main body and you're going to attach that on any of these stitches across the top. I'm going to simply slip my hook in any of the stitches here and pull this yarn through and give it a little knot in place. Now going back into that same stitch, going to work chain one first and back again into the same stitch to work our first single crochet of this round. Now I'm going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the next stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet increase, one single crochet increase, one single crochet increase. You should be able to fill that combination three more times to complete this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. Now we're going to start working in a spiral again. So working our first stitch on top of this single crochet here. So starting the next round by working two single crochets in a row first. So here's my first. I'm going to start using a stitch marker from here. Let's put that in here to identify the start of my round. Follow on with another single crochet in the next stitch. And follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. So go ahead, work two single crochets, followed on with an increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 16. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. So here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this one with two more to make the total to three. Here's second. Third. And follow that on with an increase. And here's the combination for this round. Three single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, three single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 20. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. Let's turn this the right way around. And there we go. One. Two. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. Three. And four. Now we're going to follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets followed on with an increase. Four single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, 
five single crochets increase all the way around. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 28. We're now going to work six single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, stitch marker back in place. Third, fourth, fifth and sixth, followed on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And there we go, this is our combination for this round. Six single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, six single crochets increase, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 32. We're going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, seven single crochets increase all the way around. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. There's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Four, five. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. There we go. And here's our combination. Five single crochets followed on with an increase. Five single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. We're now going to start the next round by working 15 single crochets in a row first. Here's my first, second, stitch marker back in place. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. After working 15 single crochets in a row, you are going to work one single crochet followed on with an increase. So this combination, we're going to repeat six times. That's my first combination. The same combination repeated the second time. One single crochet, increase. Third time, one single crochet, and followed on with an increase. Fourth, one single crochet, followed on with an increase. Fifth, one single crochet, followed on with an increase. And last time, one single crochet, followed on with an increase. Now, you should have 15 stitches left. You're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way to the end. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. We're now going to start our next round again with 15 single crochets. So, one, two, Stitch marker back in place. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13, 14 and 15, followed on with two single crochets in a row. So one, two, and then an increase. There we go. Now we're going to be following this combination, just the two single crochets and an increase six times all together. So that's my first combination done. The same combination again, second time. Single crochet, single crochet, followed on with an increase. Third time, single crochet, single crochet, followed on with an increase. Fourth, two single crochets, followed on with an increase. Fifth, two single crochets, followed on with an increase. And the last time two single crochets, followed on with an increase. Now we're going to complete this round off with 15 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 54. Now before we continue with our next few rounds, we are going to take a moment and insert some teddy bear security eyes into this head. To do this, you're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that you finished with is facing the bottom. Now, if you look carefully, you will notice that part of this head is in a cone shape, but the, the other side, on this side, it's a little bit flat. So I can see from here is cone shape, whereas over here is the flat bit where we've been working our increases. So we want to get the middle part of that so this is the middle so i'm going to be using this to guide me to know where to put the eyes in basically so we will be inserting the eyes in between round 10 and 11. so let's first of all count the rounds here's our first two rounds which we worked in peach color three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so in between these two rounds right here I'm going to grab hold of a pin and insert that in this place just so I don't lose that stitch or I don't lose that space. Now I'm going to be inserting these security eyes. They are 11 millimeters in size. So I'm going to be inserting one on this side and one the other, keeping about four stitches in between on that round. So let's move that out of the way. There you go. Now, if I bring it close, you can see there's one, two, three, four stitches, and I'm going to slip that in after that. So, right in here. Twist it to make it go in there. And that's one I inserted. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, move the pin out of the way, and we're going to count the stitches one two three four after the fourth stitch which is right here so i'm going to slip that in as well now before you put the backing on you need to first of all make sure that the eyes have gone into the same round and they are in the right position where we want them now if i just double check the cone that I haven't actually inserted the eyes in the cone part, that's perfect. And I'm happy with the positioning. Let's check that they both have gone in the same round. Yes, they have. Now I can go ahead and put the backing on. And there we go. That's one. And here's the second one. Now we can continue working our rounds. So for the next round, let's get rid of the pin now. We're going to start off with one single crochet 
and we're going to follow this on let's put the stitch marker back on first and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around now to finish one round you will have 54 single crochets in a row you're going to follow the same method over and over again so you have nine rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work nine rounds of single crochet with 54 single crochet in each and then meet me back here at the end of nine rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 54. we're now going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row here's my first second let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place third fourth fifth sixth and seventh after seven single crochets we're going to work a decrease so slip your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop do the same with the stitch after that pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round seven single crochets in a row followed on with the decrease seven single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 48 we're now going to start the next round with six single crochets in a row one two three four five and six now we're going to follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place one two three four five six and follow this combination so we've got six single crochets followed on with a decrease six single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 we're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row here's my first second third fourth and fifth followed on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go repeat the same combination all the way around to finish this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease four single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. we're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row one two and three follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease three single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over pull, th pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round two single crochets decrease Two single crochets decrease all the way around now as you can see this gap is decreasing in size so make sure to fill this up with fiber fill and complete this round and then meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. we're now going to start the next round with one single crochet in our first stitch followed on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches Three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three use the same combination to finish this round 
at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. we're now going to work our last and final round and in this you're going to try to close this gap off by working six decreases back to back so to do this you are going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three now as we're trying to close this gap off i would suggest for you to give the stitches a little pull gentle pull so they are quite nice and tight and also another thing i tend to want because we've got the head full of fiber fill i tend to put my finger just behind the stitches so we are pushing the fiber fill away while we're working our stitches this way we don't catch the fiber fill through these stitches onto our hook so it's quite nice um way to finish this round off so that's two decreases and decrease number three decrease number four decrease number five And final one, decrease number six. There we go. And once you've worked your last decrease, you will notice that there is still a tiny little gap left in between the stitches. So to get rid of this, you're going to slip your hook in the opposite stitch where you finished. So we've finished here. So we're gonna slip our hook on this side. And we're going to work a slip stitch just like this there we go and now let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull this out of the head and pull this down now we're going to use a darning needle and slip this back inside this head and guide it to come out from another side to get rid of it now onto the arms and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot slip your hook inside and chain two that's one two to start round one you're going to skip your first chain here and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook slip your hook in there pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through both there's my first single crochet let's go ahead and work five more second third fourth, fifth and sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now, working in spiral again, so slip your hook in top part of your first single crochet of your previous round. And in this round, we're going to be working increases. So we're going to be working six increases all together which means two single crochets in every single stitch. Here's my first increase, second increase, third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and final one, increase number six. Now once you've done this you should have a total of 12 stitches from here we're going to be working the next round by starting by working a single crochet in the first stitch now from here i would suggest for you to use a stitch marker to identify the start of your rounds there we go that's my first single crochet of this round i'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around now within just to finish one round you will have 12 single crochets in a row once you've done this you're going to follow the same process 17 times to have 17 rounds of just single crochet every single round will have 12 single crochets in one row so go ahead and finish 17 rounds of single crochets and then meet me back here at the end of 17 rounds of single crochet this is what the arm should look like now let's go ahead and stuff this arm up with some fiber fill 
only up to this much. So you can go ahead and stuff this arm with fibrofill halfway point. So fill this nice and tight and the rest of it is going to be flat. So I've already gone ahead and done that. And as you can see, I've filled it up up to this point and this much of the arm is empty. So once you've done this, you're going to make sure that the stitch that you were working on is right at the end here. And we're going to work a few stitches across the top to close this gap. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch. So this is the one that I've finished with. And I'm going to slip my hook in the next stitch, which is right here. And guide it to come out from the back, all the way from the back. And there we go. Now, if I pull these apart, you will see that I've gone through the front of these stitches as well as the back. Going, Making your way through both of those, you're going to loop this yarn onto your hook and pull it through. And that's my first single crochet here. I'm going to work a few single crochets across the top to close that gap. So here's my second. So guide it to go through the next stitch and the stitch at the back at the same time, like this. Pull up a loop and single crochet and just like this go ahead and work six single crochets across the top and once you've done your six single crochets you're going to chain one and leave a long tail and snip this yarn off pull this out of this stitch and pull this up to secure this in place now there we go this completes one of the arms go ahead and follow the same instructions to make another one of these arms now onto the tail and for this let's grab our gray yarn again and start the same way by working a slip knot going to chain two one two now we're going to skip our first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from our hook Let's slip our hook into this space here and pull up a loop to work our first single crochet back into that same space to work seven more. Four, five, six, seven, and here's my eighth one. Let's get rid of this tail and once you have your eight single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches now we're going to start working in a spiral and we're going to work a single crochet on top of our previous single crochet of our previous round so pull up a loop from there and work your first single crochet now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start off each of my rounds and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around now to be able to finish one round you will need eight single crochets in a row you're going to be following the same method 23 times to have 23 rounds of just single crochet now the size of this tail is going to stay exactly the same but you're just going to gain in length so go ahead, work eight single crochets in one round and finish 23 rounds all together and then meet me back here. At the end of 23 rounds of single crochets, your stitch count should still be eight and this is what the tail will look like. We are not going to stuff this with fibre fill at all. We're just going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch. So slip your hook in there pull up a loop and make it go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook now let's go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull it out of the stitch and pull this stitch down to secure it in place and there we go the tail is now complete now onto the assembly we're going to start off by attaching the arm onto the body we're going to make sure we've got the side profile of the body and then we're going to stitch this across the side just below round one so if i bring this closer you can see there's your round one 
and we're going to be stitching this arm just below it right here so the space between round one and round two across this side now before you do this you're going to hold this in the right place and you're going to make sure that this arm is in line with the leg so the leg is a little bit wider than the arm but make sure that the uh, arm is directly in the middle positioned directly in the middle of this leg and they are perfectly in line and i can hold it in place or use pins to pin it in while i stitch this across the top so when you're stitching this you're going to catch one stitch on the body and then one stitch across the arm so we're going to catch it across this way and each time I connect any part of this I always go through each stitch twice so that the connection between a connection between the two things is nice and secure so we've done that next part And we're going to do this one more time in the same stitches and just like this work your way across and going through the same stitches one more time and now to the end we're going to Connect this side as well, like this. And again, going through the stitches one more time to make this connection really nice and secure. Once you've done this, you're going to slip this needle back into that same stitch lift the arm up and guide the needle to come from the base like this and here you're going to isolate one single stitch and we're going to make a loop out of the the yarn like that and we're going to slip this needle back into this and this will create a knot in place we're going to do the same process one more time just to make this really nice and secure there we go isolate one stitch create create a loop slip this back in there and pull it down and once you've done this you're going to slip the needle back in that same stitch guide it to come out from another side of the body so push it across make it go through the fiber fill and there we go now that is done, I'm going to go ahead and snip this off. There we go. Using the same method, stitch the other arm on as well. Now finished with the arms, we are going to attach the tail on this body as well. And before we do this, we need to make sure that this bump part, which is representing the tummy, is facing the table. And you're going to be attaching the tail right in the middle across here so we're going to be counting five rounds up from the legs one two three four five and this is where we are stitching the tail keeping in mind that here are the legs i want to stitch this right in the middle so grab hold of the tail and the stitch that you finish with make it go on one side and hold it in the middle of that round where we're going to be stitching it and ensure that it's directly in the middle of the legs as well so evenly in the middle so go ahead attach this tail on the body and meet me back here now onto the face we are going to attach the ears onto the head like this and you're going to do that in round 10 so let's go ahead and thread this into a darning needle first and we're going to count 10 rounds up so let's have a look so there's round one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten that's my round ten i'm going to use a pin 
and slip that in there so I know which round we're talking about. And there we go. And we're going to stitch this ear on around. So there's round 10. I'm going to be stitching it just before it. So around round 11, just like that. So when you're doing this, you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with is directly at the bottom because we're going to use this thread to attach a few stitches on the head with few stitches on the ears. So go ahead, catch one stitch on the head, one stitch on the ear, just like the arm and the tail, and stitch this across the side. Now, when you look from the front, you will notice from the nose, we've got the eye and then the ear in, in line, basically. So we're going to do the same thing across the side here as well. So remembering we're stitching the ear on round 11. So just after round 10, so on top of round 11 and keeping the ears and the nose and the eye in line like this. So go ahead, stitch both ears on and meet me back here. I've now finished with the ears. Let's go ahead and attach the head and the body together. To do this, let's grab hold of the body and thread this bit of yarn that's coming out of the neck into your darning needle. And now we're going to hold the head in position like this. And this is where I'm going to attach the neck onto the head. So we're just simply going to catch one stitch on the head and move over to one stitch on the neck and go all the way across. On the side profile, you will see this is what the head should look like alongside the shoulders right here. So go ahead, stitch this in place and then meet me back here. The head is now on and this is what our mouse looks like. Let's zoom out for you guys. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed making this mouse with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.